hard dot this no. one. <laughs> <laughs> Good evening, everyone. Oh, we're getting there. Pressing all the buttons, she says. The technical whiz is here. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Sugar and Crumbs. My name's Tracy Mann from Tracy Mann Cakes. I just love that tech bit at the start. It always throws me completely, pressing all the buttons, trying to work everything out. Anyway, I'm now here and live. And tonight we're having a bit of a, an animal themed evening. So we're going to do some mini animal cakes tonight. That's the plan anyway. Um, now I'm not here on my own. So I have got Kelly here with me. Say hello, Kelly. Hello. So Kelly is in tonight and she is going to be helping me uh, with any comments or questions that you may have um, that you would like to ask about our mini animal cakes tonight. So we're going to be doing a little bit of chocolate tempering and we're going to be using some transfer sheets. We're going to do a little bit of painting and we're going to do oh, lots of things. We'll just keep ourselves entertained all on an animal theme tonight. So that's what we want to do anyway. So is everything working? Yeah. <laughs> She's on Facebook sorting everything out. Good, excellent. Right, so um, this week, before I go too far, I am launching my beginner's floral course, which is behind me. I've got to go that way. I have to go the opposite way to my camera. You'll see it there. Okay. <laughs> so keep an eye out for that. I want to take that down now as well so you can see that it's me here, not anything else. Um, yeah, so we've got some new floral cakes behind me here. So for those of you that know about cake painting, that is what I teach online. And oh, Kelly's put the thing up for me already. Um, but there you go, that is my website for um, learning how to do cake painting on cakes and royal icing. We have lots of nice royal ices on here as well. So if you are interested in classes, that is my address. You're more than welcome to go and have a look at any of the classes we've got coming up. We're going to be learning to paint flowers soon, which is very exciting. And the course is now available and it's on offer at the moment. So if you want to pop over and have a look you're very welcome and if you have any questions about it then do please let me know and be more than happy to help you right let's move that out of the way then I don't have to press any more buttons I can let Kelly do everything else <laughs> okay so we're going to do mini animal cakes tonight we're going to be using um, we're going to do some little bit of painting we've got some mini cakes made up she says surveying the scene looking around to think what I've got in front of me and we're going to do um, some chocolate tempering in a moment. So we decided to go down the route of kind of a bit of a jungle theme tonight. So little tiny sort of jungle type cakes. And I've got a little bit of a cookie special as well to show you. Um, so lots of different things that you can do and have a go at. So hopefully you will learn something exciting this evening, she says. <laughs> so um, let's have a look at what we've got in front of us to start with. So let's turn the cameras down here. So we're going to be using chocolate transfer sheets tonight. Now, I've already cut mine into strips because we're going to be using um, the little cakes that I've actually done before, but we're going to be making them into little animal cakes tonight. So you'll see what I mean when we get that far. Um, for those of you that haven't seen transfer sheets before, let me show you what they are. So this is a transfer sheet and it's an acetate sheet with a pattern on it. Now, this one has got flamingos on it and we're going to be using this one which i call grass so hence the jungle theme everybody um <laughs> and then we have got leopard as well also on the jungle theme going on now what i've done is i've made some little cakes i've cut these into strips now the strip size i've cut them there that way is two inches but actually i'm going to just quickly measure around this because um I've made them too long anyway because I didn't cut them down earlier today but we've made them using a little tiny cutter so I've got some little cakes here now I've done these before um, live so all I tend to do is make a big tray bake press a cutter down and twist it pull it out I cut two or I cut three out to get two if that makes any sense so I then cut it cut it in half and then stack it together now I've covered this with white chocolate ganache and then I pop some a little bit of cling film over it and just pull there we go like so and I've let them set in the fridge so that's the little shape that we've got to start with so it's two inches that way by approximately two inches that way and that's the size that I need for my sheet that then goes round my my little cake so if I hold this up like that now this is going to be too long what we need to do is we need to have it so that it overlaps now it's gonna have a bit of chocolate on it as well. So I'm gonna take that off there. I'm just gonna cut this back a bit because I won't wanna be using all of this sheet because it's a waste and I can keep that for something else. So I don't need to throw it away. And I'm gonna just do the same with all the others because I got them all the, side, the right height but I didn't get them all the same width, Kelly. <laughs> and it's only when I went live 
did I realise that my prep has been cut short? So that's fine. So we're just going to cut these down like so. And we'll keep these little bits. Don't ever chuck them away. Make lollipops. Make lollipops with them, you see. So you don't need to, there's no waste anywhere. This is a one and a half cake. So for most of you, or some of you know, I like Sweet Successes cake. So what I tend to do is I tend to get one of their tray bakes and I cut out three circles. I cut one in half and then I put them together to get two of these little individual cakes, cover it in ganache, and then I've got a cake that's sort of a decent height. Um, and that's what I do. And if you're making a tray bake, but you don't want to make that many cakes, you can prepare them, ganache them, and then put them in the freezer. Oh, you are good, Kelly. Oh, no. Do you know, she's been here a while now, haven't you, Kelly? And I think you're picking it all up, aren't you? <laughs> Kelly for hire, aren't you, Kel? Actually, no, you're not for hire because I want you to stay with me. So, <laughs> right, let's cut this one down as well. There we go. So you can see with the transfer sheet, so it's kind of got a rough side, that's the pattern side, and then that's what it looks like on the other side. So this is the shiny side, so we're going to put the chocolate on this side, otherwise what happens is nothing will happen, that's the exactly what will happen, zero. Um, <laughs> so that is um, the side that we're going to put the chocolate onto, versus this side, which is the side that hopefully will imprint it on there. And I did have plans to do zebra, but I've changed my mind, and I'll tell you why, because... Um, I need to do dark chocolate for that. So how many have I got here? I've got six in total. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, one more, six. So we're going to do six mini cakes tonight. And then what we're going to do is we've got some little toppers that we're going to paint up. And we're going to do those whilst these are all setting. So we're going to get the chocolate bit done first. And then while they're setting, we're going to play around with some of little animal moulds that we've got. And we'll get those all painted up. Then we can bring these back out and then we can assemble them. Well, that's the plan anyway. Um, OK, so there we go. Now, before we get ready to temper chocolate, we need to get ourselves prepared. <laughs> so um, first thing, make sure the rough side's facing up. Now that can be easier to tell on, on some versus others, whereas this one here looks the same both sides. But if you feel it, it feels a bit rough. So that one is going to be that way round. So let's move these up a bit. And now I can have them all ready. And I'm not struggling then to work out which way round things are. And believe you me, it has happened. That feels, you see, look at this one. You can hardly tell which way round it is. It's that side is the side the chocolate's got to go on having done a couple of demos before where I've done loads of these and then suddenly discovered <laughs> I've got them on the wrong side. So <laughs> we've got all these ready. Now we'll get our little cakes ready. So I made these this afternoon. Um, now you can do these with ganache. You can do these with buttercream. You can cover them with um, something like chocolate paste or cocoa form, something like that. They're really not that pretty. Look, I've hardly done them very exactly. You do it with buttercream. Yeah, you can do with buttercream as long as it's set. So when you do it, um, you're going to need to set it in the fridge because it needs to be dry. What you don't want to be doing is sticking chocolate to wet buttercream, otherwise you're going to get in a muddle. So you do need to make sure that buttercream is set. You can always put a couple of tablespoons of chocolate in there and then that would set it for you as well. That's very helpful. Chocolate can help you out quite a bit with that. So you could always do that. So let's undo these. So we're gonna have all these ready as well. So they're not perfect by any stretch. In fact, they're far from perfect. But again, it doesn't matter because this is gonna take care of all of that for me. So I'm just going to pull that out like that. One more. And then we are ready to roll. We can start doing our tempering. So you've gotta be ready. Got to be prepared. There we go. Now, as I say, I've used ganache on this. Um, it doesn't matter. If you do use buttercream, honestly, a little bit of um, a tablespoon of chocolate will help it set. Or if, as long as you just put it in the fridge and allow it to set, it'll be absolutely fine. But we've got all our cakes ready and we've got our transfer sheets ready. So we need our chocolate. So let's get that sorted next. So we're going to use a plastic bowl and we're going to use a plastic spatula and we're going to use Calabao white chocolate. So I'll pop some of that in. Someone's going to ask me how much and the answer to that question is, I'm not sure. <laughs> and the other thing is as well, 
whenever I'm live I always do more than I need because otherwise I have to do it all again it takes forever you see so always go on the more cautious side and do more than I need <laughs> that's the plan anyway I think my camera's slightly off tonight because I seem to be on one side Kelly so I'm going to launch myself at the microwave and nearly disappear off the screen no I'm to move it no it's fine it's fine. You sure? Yeah, it's fine. I'll just right. do more leaping about. It's good for me. Right. I've been swimming this morning, so I'm quite tired. <laughs> there could be a bit of sitting down to do tonight. It was a, um, yes, yeah, so I've not been swimming the entire, well, when was the last time the pool's like closed? November. November. Yeah, so I do know about it today. I'm quite tired this evening, so. <laughs> um, haircut tomorrow, very important. So when I come back on Thursday, glamorous. very glamorous. That's all I'm going to say. Oh, look fabulous. Uh, <laughs> so Thursday morning, yes, just stand by for it. I will be having a whole makeover. <laughs> right, okay. Someone just said, just rushed home from work just to see this. Perfect, who's that? <laughs> So nice. Good, that's what I like to hear. So, okay, we're going to start tempering the chocolate now. This takes a little bit of time. So we're going to um, put it into the microwave at full power and we're going to do 30 seconds and full power and then we're going to let that go through and then it's 10 seconds stir, 10 seconds stir. So we'll get that going because it takes overall a cycle two to three minutes. Um, it takes longer if it's milk, it takes even longer if it's dark. So when I dem, I tend to do a lot of white because it's, it's the quickest. If you want to sort of rank them, it's um, white and then ruby, then milk and then dark. So that's how long they all take. So you can go across like that, if that makes any sense. So if white's the quickest, dark takes the longest because it's got the highest level of cocoa solids in it. And that is why it's like a mystery isn't it so i've done 30 seconds as you can hear there is zero to see absolutely zero there you go um that's because even though there's heat in there you won't be able to see much going on at this stage now this is the frustrating part so it's 10 seconds stir 10 seconds stir even though there's very little to see we have to stick to these rules even though i'm live we have to do it <laughs> But it's very good, you see, because then it shows I've been very good and it works. But all we're doing is we are tempering chocolate, which means that what we're doing is we're very, very carefully going up the temperature scale without going over it. Now, someone's going to say to me, what is the temperature and where is your thermometer? I don't know what the temperature is and I haven't got a thermometer. <laughs> I just know what I'm looking for. Just look for a consistency. That's what you're looking for. As soon as you see the consistency, and I will show you what that is, then you know that you have done it. If you, uh, oh gosh, um, uh, if you only have a small amount of chocolate, would you still put it in for 30 seconds and then 10 seconds? Depends how small it is. I would say cautiously, cautiously. So I would do it a little bit less um, because sometimes it can go very quickly. With dark, I probably would do it the full 30, but with white, just need to be a tiny bit more cautious. Um, because white does tend to have a bit of a lower melting point. I'm keeping a close eye on this microwave, because once I start talking, that's it, you see. <laughs> the um, caramel chocolate, do you know where that comes on the scale of tempering? I don't, because I haven't done it. However, I'm going to guess... Years it's... and years ago we did it. No, not caramel, we didn't. Caramel's... Oh no, it was coffee. Coffee know. we did. Um, I'm going to guess it's near, I'm going to guess it's like ruby, so it's the same, not, I would imagine, oh someone's done it, who's done it? Oh there same you go, white. there you go, Marie the experts have white. done it for me. <laughs> so, um, there you go, same as white, so even I've learnt that tonight. I'm not going to tell you if I haven't done it, but I would have guessed it would be near between white and ruby, maybe something like that. So, um, dark chocolate is quite exceptional, it has high cocoa solids in it it does take much longer and when you look at it you think oh is this ever going to happen is this ever going to get through the procedure and then boom all of a sudden you're there similar to this at the moment <laughs> there you go nothing's changed it's still going around the bowl but all of a sudden it says she should say she loves the bling loves the bling he said earrings. that my earrings my little present <laughs> angela bought me some earrings look at that thought i put them on Keep the bling up, aren't they fabulous? <laughs> That's why I've got my hair up, really. You see, 
you can see my blingy earrings. They're lovely. They're like little silver balls in my ears. <laughs> That's what it's all about, Kelly, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. That's what it is. It's you just see? a silver ball stuck on your ears. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh dear. Right. Yeah, you all need to wear sunglasses tonight because I've got my blingy earrings in. They're very flash. I love them. They're fantastic. Oh, I made them. Yeah, she made them. Oh, I know. It's so lovely. She a clever lady. You coming out of this pandemic? Glamorous. I'm going to come out of this lockdown just glamorous. That's the plan. <laughs> Hair done right, tonight. the next time <laughs> you won't even know who's in yeah. front of you. The next time, when I turn up on Thursday, you'll wonder what's happened. You see, they'll go, "Who is this woman? What's happened to her?" <laughs> right, I'm supposed to be doing a demonstration on tempering chocolate, and I'm chatting away about my hair and my earrings at the moment. Right, <laughs> that's because there's nothing left to see at the moment, but we are getting there. It's starting to stick you see now to the spatula so there's definitely progress I don't like this bit because it takes a long time but we're getting there yeah they look nice don't they look there you go <laughs> fabulous I love earrings as well worked out well that did well I didn't wear them in the swimming pool this morning I did, t I did take them off before I went swimming this morning because I thought I would end up losing them and I don't want that to happen either, so yeah. I might become Angela's model. I might become... Um, I might be yeah. Angela, if you need a model, you know, for, for your earrings online. <laughs> That's me. Right, we're still going. You'll watch out, Hugh. Tracy's glad. Oh, I know. I wish, honestly. <laughs> Need to bring him back in again, don't I? Oh dear. There's um, there's this program on silver jewelry making, wasn't there? Well, coming up. Is there? Yeah. Like that pottery program. See, we all watch the pottery pro program, pottery throwdown or whatever it's called. We love it. When we love it so much, I'm going to go on a pottery course. This is the thing. Well, I'm not going to go on a pottery course. I'm going to go for the day. I'm sure I could send you some wonderful footage of me. <laughs> <laughs> How hard can it be? <laughs> she says, oh, but it's going to be horrendous. Anyway, we'll give it a go. It can't be that bad. Right, we're nearly through this. We're getting there anyway. It's now starting to get quite thick let's turn that up so you can see it there we go probably looks exactly the same from where you're sitting anyway oh my dad might be watching tonight it's my dad's birthday today happy birthday dad happy birthday granddad if you're watching he said he might watch tonight you see he'll suddenly go whoa <laughs> made my dad a cake it's on my instagram have a look oh it's on tonight the jewelry program oh well we'll have to rush back uh, hey. eight o'clock oh no pressure. No pressure. Okay, let's show you what's going on. Let's concentrate on what we're actually doing here. Okay, so that's where we are at the moment. There we go. Yes, I love the idea of pottery. I don't know if I'm going to be any good at it. <laughs> we, we love the judge. Isn't the job, judge just the most amazing person ever? He's so funny. He's just the highlight of that programme. Everyone needs to watch that. Everyone say happy birthday. Happy birthday, to you, Mr. Brown. David Brown. <laughs> Mr. Brown, that's my dad. Come on, Dad, where are you? If my mum's watching, she might say something. He'll be laughing now. He's waiting for me to do something silly. This is what's happening. <laughs> you need to like, purposely chuck the Find whole wall. huge entertainment with me doing things, <laughs> dropping things all over the place. Yeah, I made my dad a cake with a guitar on it, which is again is on my Instagram. Go and have a look. He was um, which I painted, and I did put it on my YouTube channel as well. So there you go. So if you want to see it on my YouTube channel, you can. Right, let's go back to this now. Okay, there we are. Let's 
so you can't do much with that it's too thick so we've got to melt it a little bit more let's keep going oh it's got all these messages coming through they would love that i'll take a picture of them and send them yeah through. take a picture and send them to my dad he should be tuning in tell him <laughs> right another 10 seconds i'm getting there I've already done a drip cake today. I nearly did one of those live. But I decided against it today. I thought, no. <laughs> we'll do that another day. I have to brace myself for that one. And actually, because it was a customer order for tomorrow morning, I need to make sure it's actually done okay. So um, I didn't want to risk it. It's a bit too late in the day for a cake for tomorrow morning. So I thought I'd better do it. Right, oh, we're there, magic. Wonderful, wonderful. Right, let's shut this off because this microwave is going to drive me crazy otherwise. There we go. Okay, let's go down to this camera here. There we go. There we go. Oh, I'm reading now. I used to work in a pottery factory. Oh, it's just too exciting. Right, let's go back to the tempering for a second. So what we're looking for is the consistency of double cream. Can you see the way that's running? Okay, so when I pick it up, it's trailing. If it's like water and it just goes shroom and doesn't leave a trail, then you've overheated it. So um, that's what you're looking for. And that will be achieved by doing 10 seconds stir, 10 seconds stir until you end up with it looking like that. Isn't that lovely? Nice and straightforward. Okay, right, so we're gonna wrap our cakes now. Let's do that. So I find one of these is the best thing for this. Nice cranked palette knife. Got our cakes all ready. I'm gonna grab my chair, just so I don't fall over. And what I'll do, um, Kelly, can you pass me that other pink board, please? Yeah. Because I need to put these into the fridge. I'm just letting your granddad know. You're letting my dad know, are you? <laughs> Am I on camera? No, I'm not good. No, you're not on camera. Okay, right. So what we'll do is we'll pop them on here as we go. Okay, so all we're going to do, in fact, I've got no space, is we'll pick up some chocolate. I hope I've not overheated it. I'm pretty certain I haven't. It feels okay. Right. Put a bit more on than that, a bit more generous. There we go, we'll just pull that like so for the first one, like that. I'm going to pick that up on the side, on the side only. Pick it up, and then we're going to just wrap it round our little cake, like so, and then pop it onto this board here. And then you'll see how quickly this sets, it's so quick, it's unbelievable. Okay, and then well, that's a good sign though. We want that to do that because then we know we've done it right. Let's bring this one down here. I'm going to get in a mess now. There's no way I'm going to get through this without making loads of mess. So <laughs> it's just the way it is. If you're doing chocolate, be prepared. Right, that's the next one. So I'll pick that up. So always make sure you pick it up on the side and not on the top, okay? Otherwise you're going to end up taking the pattern off. I'm going to put that down again. Am I still on camera now? I've come off a little bit. Right, let's put it onto the side camera so you can see what's going on on the side camera. And you get a better view. Let's have a look. Oh, there we are. Okay, so we've got the general idea so far. Um, is there a plastic side scraper on that? Um, I think you can see. There we go. Oh, you have them. I've got them, I've put them away. Okay, that's fine. Just I could do with one for scraping the board. No, they've been the lower ones down the bottom. There we go. Oh, it's a mess. Right down the very bottom, Kelly. If they're in there, if they're not, I've left them on, no, they're not. on the sink then. So I'm going to need one just to get rid of this. Right, okay. That on there so you can see a bit better. There we go. I'm going to work that round like so. So I'm overlapping these as I go, as you can see. You found one. Oh, marvellous. Thank you. 
the old plastic side scraper because we don't want to use a knife on here. So you can see, look how quickly that chocolate has set. For me, for Kelly, that's what she's here for. And look how, yeah. Right, let's stick a bit more down there. Someone just asked that, what's that question? Uh, which one? The, where, where are your boards from? Oh, sugar and crumbs. This is the famous sugar and crumbs pink boards. How thick should you put, spread the chocolate? So you can't see the transfer sheet. Okay, if I just hold it up like, I'll hold one up so you can see it. It's really quite thin. Can you see that? Okay, so it's not particularly thick, all right? But when you wrap your cakes, you have to do them immediately because if you don't, if that chocolate starts to set, then you can't um, get it round the cake, all right? So you have to do it straight away. As you can see, look how quickly it's setting just by me moving that within minutes. We've got two to go. Looks like I've done enough chocolate, which is good news. So we'll do another flamingo one. This one looks a bit short actually, obviously got carried away when I was cutting them out this afternoon. Okay, so you can um, vary the heights and the depths of these, you just cut them out according to what you want them to be. All right, you so... You can do them around big cakes. Yeah, you can do them around big cakes. Um, a couple of weeks ago I did a cup and I wrapped it right around a big cake. So mm -hmm. if you want to see how that's done, then go and have a look at that. Um, and you'll see um, how I did a big cake, which was, that was fairly big, that cake, wasn't it? Five, six inches, something mm. like that, Kel. Um, so, yeah, if you're thinking, oh, I'd like to do this on a on a bigger cake, it's completely possible. You have to join the transfer sheets together. They come on great big sheets, you see. Oh, I don't like the feel of that. I've got so much chocolate on my hand, I actually can't tell if it's rough or not. <laughs> oh, dear. Occupational hazard here. I'm absolutely covered in it. Right, we're on the last one. Thank goodness. Okay. So there we go. So we can't see it. I think you can see that. And then I'm just, that's why I'm getting covered in it. Because I'm then having to find the end of it from there. Pop it on there. And then we'll wrap it. There we go. Like so. If you get any sort of extra bits on the top, you can always just run your finger around there just to get rid of them. And then that's all six and they're all ready to go to the fridge. So we will just move all of this. Can't use any sharp knives on this board, otherwise I will be in huge amounts of trouble. So plastic side scrapers, excellent news for cleaning. So I've got all this chocolate left over, which of course I could immediately just pass to Kelly, but I'm not going to do that yet. So I'm just yeah. pop it yet. Um, I'm going to pop it into my bowl and then I can always remelt that and use it for something else, what which we would, to? well, we made those little animal things. We've done those in advance, Kelly, haven't so we? Therefore so therefore I can pass you the bowl. Yes. Well, you can just look after it because I might need it for something else. We might need it to stick bits down, you see. Let me just wash my hands because it's becoming unbearable. Can you pass me that cloth, please? Wow. Which one? Yeah. Right. I'm still here. I've got to clear up now, you see. <laughs> I can't do this with all this mess everywhere, so we have a little clear up now. And so we can get ourselves organised. There we go. Um, oh, I need to put these in the fridge. So these are going to go off to the fridge now for about 15, 20 minutes, but I will be keeping you occupied while we do that. We've got a little bit of painting to do. So we'll pop these in here for our little toppers. Right, let's pop those in there. So the theme tonight is um, mini animal cakes. Jungle. Jungle. Mini jungle. That's what we're going for. A jungle theme tonight. So you can use these toppers on cupcakes, they're the same size as cupcakes and you can also use them on a big cake, couldn't you? Let's put that over there. I've got to recover my work surface, hold on we're nearly there. This chocolate gets everywhere. <laughs> there we go. Right, okay so we're going to do a little bit of painting. Now I've had to put another board down because again I'm, I'm terrified I'm going to... Uh, do something to this board so let me just get myself straight there we go right 
there nicely recovered <laughs> she's got chocolate don't worry she's all sorted um so we're going to paint some little animal faces tonight now we've got this really fabulous little mold and i'll bring that over here i'm going to go onto the overhead camera because you'll be able to see it better on that one um we've got this lovely little animal mold that has come out i'm going to show you what they are there's a huge number of animals on this they are very very cute I'm going to pick some of them up so you can see what we've got. Now, Clever Kelly, mm. and she is a clever girl, who is honestly the best painter I know. Yeah, apart from my mother, obviously, because <laughs> she's listening. <laughs> no, you, Kelly's a brilliant, brilliant painter. Let me hold this up so you can have a look at it. There you go. So these are little monkey... That one's the one you've been converting into various things, isn't it, Kelly? What? I made it into a raccoon, a tiger, a leopard. Yeah, all sorts of things she's been making these into. There's a little hippo there. Now, you're going to be able to see these better shortly because you can make them and they're very cute little animal bites. But, of course, we're never going to do that. We're going to have to paint them. So that's what we're going to do next. So we're just going to paint a couple of these up. Now, we've already done some in advance. When I say we, I mean Kelly. Um... <laughs> I like to take the glory for that, but I won't. So I'm just going to bring in my cocoa butter. Now I've got it on a green board because I'm absolutely terrified of this. There we go, to make sure I don't burn anything. So we're going to paint with cocoa butter. Where's my matches? There they are. Okay, so we'll do this first. And then we'll make a nice coordinating biscuit as well. So we'll have the full the full lunchbox jungle package the tea. jungle afternoon tea that's what we should have called this live Sorry. jungle afternoon tea i never thought of that okay it's jungle afternoon tea with tracy and kelly <laughs> so um for those of you who have not seen one of these before this is a chrome food warmer so basically it's not sold as anything to do with cocoa butter painting it's something that we have adapted um so you would use it i think to keep food warm and things but what because it's got a tea light in the middle so we're going to light it with these highly unreliable matches of course they've worked immediately this time look at that brilliant I've had a few incidents um, because cocoa butter needs to be melted. So we're going to put this on top. Now, this is a metal paint palette and it gets really hot um, and then it melts the cocoa butter. and It keeps it melted whilst we're painting. So if you're going to do any painting with chocolate, you're going to need this product here, which is called cocoa butter. Um, you can't paint. Oh, I think I just saw one go under there. You can't paint with anything else on chocolate. Forget um, gels or anything else or um, rejuvenator, alcohol. yeah, rejuvenator, alcohol, we're dusting gels. colours, gels, all of that. You do need to use. Um, oh, I should be doing the narrating. You should be doing the narrating, Kelly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you need to be using cocoa butter, which is going to get hot. Did that candle go out? Oh, it did. That's not very helpful. I need a new candle then. Oh, no. Right. Let's swap this over. I knew it was because we've been doing so much painting, Kelly, today. We've been so industrious. Right, let's take this out and then start again. Put a new one in. There we go. So you need, well I do, I need a I need a factory supply of tea lights. <laughs> it's because I lit it and it went well, you see. Now I'm gonna light it. Hey, there we go. Come on. I'm willing it to do its business. There we go. Look at that, perfect. I did think there was nothing happening. There we go. Right, so that's going to start melting in a minute very quickly and this will remain really hot and it will get really really hot so you don't want to be touching it too much because it, it does um, it can end up burning yourself on it so just try and keep your hands away from it um, we're going to paint little chocolate bits here so ideally you don't want to be holding them um, because otherwise um, they're going to melt in your hand and that's not what you want so we're going to melt them with uh, so the cocoa butter starting to melt and we're going to paint with some dusting colors so we are going to use this color here which is called tangerine now you can use any colors you like it doesn't matter as long as they're dusts okay so don't use uh so the wonder dusts i'm sure would be very good and we're painting animals so we haven't got glitz and gold going on with the animals although i'm sure um <laughs> You could probably paint a, a sparkly lion or something. Um, and we have got primrose, which is a really nice yellow colour, bright yellow, um, and black to start with. And then we're going to need white. This black always goes everywhere when I touch 
goes absolutely everywhere. Um, and white, let's find that. Did I get that? Oh, okay. pink for the nose and the ears. And pink for the nose and the ears, apparently. Right, okay, hold on. Right, let me just get this over here because I need to find the white. Kelly's probably pinched it. There we go, there's one white. What's the other colour I just said? That dusky pink. Dusky pink. And a black. And I've done black. Dusky pink, there we go. Dusky, I haven't got much white left in that. We've had a massive delivery of white. Joy, 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 because we need it. But oh, let's not talk about the paintbrushes. <laughs> oh, they're still stuck in Ireland. They're stuck in Ireland at the actual factory now because the man who's making them, I think, is on a go slow. That's not helping me, is it? Okay. I need little spoons. Yeah, that probably sounds like quite a good idea, actually. I have to get her to send me one. And I can have a look at them, show you the little spoons. There we go. All right, so we've got everything there. So I've got a few colours. There we go, like so. Let's move that over a little bit so we can get in there. Now, what I'll try and do is I'll, I don't know if you're going to be able to see. Oh, there you've got a reasonable view at the moment. Let's see how we get on. If you can't see or when I finish painting them, I'll lift them up to the camera so you can have a little look. And I'm going to get myself a bit of kitchen roll or paper towel, however you want to describe it. And we're going to use that to clean our brushes. So when I teach my painting courses, um, I use paint brushes that got numbers on them because it helps me to help you to identify which brush that we're using. So this is brush number one. Um, for this and we've got the zero brush out as well which is slightly smaller now what I'm actually doing at the moment is I'm just dipping them into the cocoa butter and checking that they haven't got any colours in them because we've actually been painting most of the day today so there is colour in there well Kelly has I haven't I've mm. been um, editing classes today off of my new flower class so that's what I've been doing if anybody by the way I just want to say this if anybody's enrolled um, I am for the beginners class I haven't sorted out all the enrolments yet because I'm still uploading the class I can't get onto the system at the same time it stops me so um, I will get you all enrolled on I know who's enrolled just bear with me just while I wait for the rest of the course material to um, upload um, it's Southern Ireland Maureen for these paintbrushes not Northern unfortunately um, and they're stuck I don't know exactly where it is I just know it's Southern Ireland Okay, so let's have a little look. Let's start with something easy, shall we, Kelly? Um, what's the one? <laughs> what? You would laugh. What do you want to paint? The lion's pretty easy. Well, I was going to do the lion. That's the one I was going to do first. Is that okay? Yeah, okay. You approve? Right. Now, so let's hold this up. What I'm going to do, let's see what sort of view you've got. It's not too bad. So we're going to take paintbrush number one. I'm going to dip it into the cocoa butter. I'm going to pick up some of this tangerine colour. Did you use it neat, Kelly? Did you put what, what's that? Tangerine. Did you use it neat or did you put any white in it? Put some white in it. A little bit, I was gonna say it looks quite bright. So let's put a little bit of oh yeah, that's better. Let's put some white in it to lighten it up a bit. All of these colours tend to be very, very strong. So what I would say is um the most important colour that you're gonna ever own will be white, and you'll go through double white what you'll go through anything else, if not triple. So it's always a good opportunity to stock up on some white, then I would say go for it because it's um you're gonna use a lot of it. So it's a little bit like painting by numbers. So all we're going to do is we're just going to follow this around. Now I'm expecting as I'm painting this, um for you to be able to see it better on screen. So uh, if you are struggling to see it at the moment, it will suddenly appear. Who says they're enrolled? Yeah, Sharon. Yes, just, he is. Sharon is. Yeah, just bear with me with the um, floral enrolments because I am uploading the course material at the moment. And I say once that's going, I can't actually enrol my students at the minute. So it's 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 on the way. I've not left anybody out. Don't worry. Not forgotten anybody. So we're just painting round the lion's head at the moment. Yeah, we're about to enter beginner's floral painting class phase. What brand of colours are you using? I'm using Sugar Flare because I am an old school cake decorator who's been around a very, very long time for the point I've been decorating cakes for, oh my goodness me, 30 something odd years and I know this colour as well. However, you can use anything, and by anything, um, 
I also mean I strongly suspect that Carol's Wonder Dusts will be very good for this. Um, what I have found with Luster Dusts particularly, not necessarily the Wonder Dust but any brand of, of um, Luster, is they tend to absorb more cocoa butter than the matte ones so you'll go through more of it. Um, but any brand is fine, Colour Splash, um, gosh I'm trying to think of some of the names of the other ones now, Squire's Kitchen, any of them um, is fine as long as it's a dust and it's not a gel. Okay let's turn that round, I think I've just painted his ear Kelly. Okay so if I've made a mistake which is of course something I did. Just paint over it. No it. well you can either paint over it or you can do something else, you can take hold of a scriber and you can just scratch the colour back and just take off what it is that you've done wrong. So I can literally take my scriber and remove that orange paint, like so. Went straight over his ear, like that. Or you can paint over the top. Actually, this scratching back's not too bad because it's not quite set, you see. So that's working okay. So just take it back a little bit. There we go, you can see the ear appearing now. It's because I was talking, you see. Okay, there we go. It doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to be painting it yellow anyway, so we don't need it to go right back to the um, to the base colour. We can just leave it like that. And then what we're going to do, we we'll just take our brush and we'll just clean it. Do it on the same piece as this. Right, let's pop that. I don't really want that piece of want a nice clean piece there we go that's better right so we'll just dip our brush in there and just clean our I'm gathering all these pieces of paper in my hand because I don't want to put anything on the pink board <laughs> I don't want anything to happen to it there we go all right so I'm going to put my paintbrush in there now probably still got a little bit of orange in there but that's okay so we'll just pick up some of the yellow and then we'll just mix that like so we've got a little bit of yellow i'm sure you've got yellow in there kelly and then in what in that sorry in that face color it looks like there's a bit of orange in there only a little bit yeah and then we're going to paint the face of a little lion here so we'll go around like so i can go straight over this i don't have to worry about anything so we can then paint over the top so cocoa butter normally takes about sort of one to two minutes to dry it's very quick um takes a little bit longer in the summer having said that i did do a i always talk about this macaroon class i did somebody's probably on here that's watching oh my goodness it was so hot it was unbelievable but we managed to get through it and we managed to paint our macrons and we just kept using the fridge to set the cocoa button it was fine so you can paint all year round so don't worry too much about the weather we can always work it out. So there you go. So we've painted the lion like that so far. And then we can kind of do his um, features in just a second. So what we'll do is we'll just give him a minute to dry. Because we're going on to a uh, darker colour. And I'm going to change my paintbrush. I'm going to go down to paintbrush zero. Because I'm going to do his eyes. So I could just mix a little bit of that up while I'm waiting. So a tiny little bit of black just there. just reading that comment about coconut oil um co we have this discussion on here we before. have but it do it doesn't behave the same it really doesn't um, people said in america that they can't obtain it so that's what they've been using instead yeah but they've there is some diff there is some differences i guess it'd be texture would be the difference yeah there we go maureen oh no who's tried it um Somebody's tried it. It's not the same. I would try it. There is cocoa butter in this country, loads and loads of it. I would definitely use the cocoa butter. It's not a particularly dear product and um, you can use it again and again. You know, you can, a, a small bag goes a very, very long way. I just made this lion look particularly grumpy, but that's okay. Right, so we're just going to follow this. If I lift that up, you're going to see that there's a little um, raised bit on this. So I'm not just suddenly randomly making this up there is actually an area there where I can paint the eyes I'm not trying to be clever here 
I'm just going to do that. Now, if you were doing a lot of these, so let's say you did lots of lines, there's one, two, three, four, five, six lines. Let's say you want to do all the lines, you would do all of them in one go. So you'd do all the orange, all the yellow, all the black. You wouldn't be sort of fussing over one quite to the degree that I am doing. So um, that's why um, it looks like it's taking forever, but it really isn't. It's just because we're fussing over one or two, um, showing you slowly rather than racing through a whole load. So if you were thinking of doing any of this for sort of a lot of people, that would be fine. Let's make it a smiley lion. There we go. Let's go around like that. There we go, he is smiling. And then we give him some pink as well. So we'll just clean our brush up again. Just pop that down for a second. We'll just take some of this black off and use our dusky pink. And we'll give him some cheeks and then we can put a little sometimes a little dot of white in his eye can improve things but this is as well. sorry no I haven't done his ears yet Kelly I'm going to do that with the pink so I'm going to mix up now so this is dusky pink with my zero brush still there we go right okay let's pick that up again so we'll give him a makeover so he can have little cheeks here like so and then on this side we'll do the same you can play around with this you can do whatever it is that you like we'll put a little pink bit inside his ears there and then the same on this side there we go i think that's it for him i think we'll call him quits on that so that's that one they are quicker to paint than i am making them out to be it does seem to take forever when i'm doing it but that's because um i want to show you step by step so let's leave that one where should we put you we'll put you there so people can still see you and then what we'll do turn that round we'll do the other hippo because i like the hippo Kelly painted it blue and I just thought it was brilliant. I did a pink, a pink one and a purple one. And she's done a pink one and a purple one today. So there's lots going on there. And they're just fun. So I ne would never in a million years have thought you'd paint, think to paint this blue, Kelly, but it worked brilliantly, I have to say. So let's do a Kelly hippo, shall we? So let's clean out the yellow from this brush. This is brush number one. So if you've got a larger surface area, we start going back up the scale and using a bigger brush. So we'll use this one. And we'll take hold of some of this petal blue colour and put some white in it as well because again it's quite strong. I think you put white in it, Kelly, did you? Looks like yeah, you have. Yeah, I did. Yeah, it looks like you have. If you um if it doesn't cover particularly well first time, you can always paint it a second or third time, but I reckon with this most of the time it goes on pretty well. So we're just going to paint this one blue. You left that bit at the bottom, didn't you? So again, it's got little marks on it. You can just about see them. Like that. There we go. We'll paint that down there. So this is a fairly easy one to do, this one. It's a bit more straightforward. And I'm going to show you some of the ones that um, Kelly's done. She's changed one of them into several different characters. So you don't, even if you don't, I don't know what it's actually meant to be, one of them. What did we just... No, I don't know, a cat well, of some kind. We thought it was a cat, but then you changed it into a raccoon, didn't you? I changed it into a raccoon. And then you painted it Tiger, up. Tiger, cheetah. Yeah. I guess, or a leopard. I don't know. Leopard, so we did a few things with that. We need six of these, but what we've got, we've already pre-painted some of these. So we're just going to show you some of the basic ones to do. And then as usual, we'll take photos at the end and pop them on, pop them on Instagram and also on the um, Kate community page. Usually we do it the following day so that you can see what's going on. Because sometimes it can be a bit tricky seeing things on cameras. There you go. Kelly is the queen of colour. Yep. I'll tell you what, my daughter and colour, you are Kelly. I'm constantly now going, does that go with that? Does that go with that? Mm. I'm driving it's her not quite... annoying at all. It's not annoying at all, is it, Kelly? In fact, you just look so happy every time I ask you the same question. Um, I've managed to persuade Kelly that we're going to do a little Facebook 
class now on colour theory mm. so there'll be more details of that coming out at the weekend so um colour with kelly it's got a nice ring to it kelly colour with kelly colour with kelly colour spelt with a k <laughs> <laughs> colour with a k colour theory with kelly everything you want to know about colour you are good, though. You are really I good. I gave you. I gave. I gave <laughs> I you. Know. I gave you those magical powers. Just remember that. <laughs> yeah, you gave them up. <laughs> right. Okay. So we've done that. Now let's get some white. So now let's mix that up. There we go. If I hadn't painted, him, <laughs> if I hadn't painted him blue. What colour would you paint? Well, I'd have painted him grey. I think. Oh. I know. I, I love how I went blue and then I was like purple done blue I thought what's she done that for and then I looked at it and thought actually that's lovely and that was my thought process there you see and we're painting this bit white underneath there we go like so I know it's just not obvious sometimes is it and then we'll paint his eyes I've just painted his head blue head white now I'll have to go back over that that's the thing as well, if you do make a mistake, you can just paint straight over it. So I've sort of blobbed it a bit there, but that's okay. I'm not too worried about that. We'll go back and we'll, where are we? There we go. And we'll um, clean that up and switch it over. They're all going to do colour theory with Kelly. Colour with Kelly. I'm going to be on comments that night. <laughs> it's called revenge. <laughs> Sorry if anyone's got the volume up. <laughs> Oh dear, right, okay. <laughs> what am I doing? I'm not even concentrating. Okay, let's do, oh no, I had pink on there, that's annoying, because I've just put it in the black. Right, let's clean this up, and we'll do the pink next. You're making me laugh, Kelly, tonight. Sorry. I know. How do I keep it so neat? Don't I'm... worry, mine. <laughs> Kelly's, Kelly's... Let me grab mine. No, please don't. Look, Kelly's is the worst. I mean, she is really messy. Don't worry. Kelly's bringing her palette over from earlier today. And Which is... camera is it on? This top camera? Yeah, give me your palette. Wait. This is Kelly's palette, if that makes you feel any better. <laughs> if anybody else's palette looks like that, that's Kelly's. It's, um, it's somewhat messy, isn't it, Kel? Okay. And then we'll do some cheeks here, look. So we'll give a little... They're like little cartoon characters, these, aren't they? A fun uh, little bit there. Okay, and then we'll put a bit in the ears as well. So just a little bit up there and over there as well. You could, if anybody doesn't want to do the whole chocolate thing, make these with sugar paste so or modelling paste. So if you've got some from something like, oh, I've got to get my teeth in there, something like Saraceno, you can always press these into the little moulds and then you can bang them out. If you've got them rolled in ice and sugar, they should fall out and then they would set and then you can paint them. I'd still insist you'd paint them in cocoa butter because that's me to a tea, but you could make them in sugar paste because they're only little ones. If you don't want to do chocolate tempering, you don't have to. So this does work for shit for um, that. Exactly. Everyone's Modeling saying chocolate. that their palette's like mine and it's a genius at work. <laughs> I'm too busy to be neat. Everybody is siding with you, Kelly. I know. I know it's unbelievable, isn't it? Thanks, right. everyone. <laughs> She's Got a fan base going. She's on a roll. Don't encourage her. No, it mm. Right, let's go back to uh, black. Now, I've still got my um, what brush have I got here? Zero. Okay, so we'll now put some little eyes in there. And what we'll do is we will, we're going to go round the eyes as well, make it a little bit more cartoony. Try not to make sure it's got cross-eyed. And then just here, and that's all marked on there for you. Again, I'm not making this up. This is where the marks are on the chocolate mould. I'm going to hold that up a bit so you can see it. There it is. He is cute, isn't he? Okay, and then what we'll do is we'll go round this as well. Don't forget his nostrils. I've done his nostrils. Oh yeah, you're sorry. Ten, you're ten, ten seconds, seconds behind. behind. <laughs> no reason. We love Kelly. She's on a roll today, aren't you? Yeah. Okay. Let's turn that round a little bit. Oh. And then we'll come round this way. There we go. 
it's got a bit of a head thing going on let me just get rid of that I think that's why I got the white on there earlier there we go fun so that's the little hippo I'm just going to put a bit of extra just realized I've been leaning on the lion I'm stunned I've not melted him there we go like so so that's a little hippo isn't that cute this is um you can eat um modeling paste it's um it's absolutely fine it's just i think this is just more likely to be eaten isn't it because it's a chocolate rather than a piece of modeling paste i think people make things to go on cakes lovely flowers and all these bits and pieces but people don't tend to eat the big frills and all these other things on there or maybe they do um but something like this, which is a, like a little chocolate bite, um, is quite handy, isn't it? It's quite sweet to do. So there we go. We'll put the hippo there. I'm just going to move that over there. The only thing with putting sugar paste in here, you won't, it won't um, pick up the detail. You'll tend to find it will, um, when you tip it out, you're going to not see all the detail um, of everything on there. And it will change shape because sugar paste doesn't tend to hold its shape. Um, so you will have difficulty there. Right, let's do, should we do the monkey? Yeah, we'll do the monkey. Right, here we go. So this is the monkey now. Right, so we need to swap brushes again. Oh, I did it in two different colours. I did a purple monkey. You did do a purple. And now I've done a brown one as well. Well, should we do the brown one? Let's find the... You've got the brown colour yeah, over there. Okay. She's hogging in my colours again. Right, let's do the brown monkey this time. Okay, thank you. Oh, did you want to show the bear just in case? Oh, here's the raccoon. Okay, well, you can bring that one over. I'm going to, going to paint Oops. Uh, probably one more and then we'll show you the ones that you've done. We'll show you what Kelly's been up to with all her painting because she's done a good job of these. There we go. Thank you. Welcome. So we'll do the monkey now and we'll do him in a couple of shades of brown. So again, what we'll do is we'll brush what I got here, brush one again. So we're going to pick up some brown and we'll grab some white, and lighten it up. This paint palette gets very hot. Just be careful. <laughs> you don't think it when you first touch it and then you lift it up and you're like, okay. Yeah, it's very hot. Okay. Did you put a lot of white in that? It looks like it. Um, yeah, you must yeah, have. Yeah, probably. <laughs> you must have done. Yeah. Okay, so what we'll do, so this is a nice, easy, quick one, this one. So we're just going to paint the lower half of the monkey. We'll go over his smile. The smile is raised as well. Yeah, so you can see the smile is standing up on here. So again, we're not having to make anything up. It's all, there we go. Also, actually, I meant to uh, say this earlier, when you paint on chocolate, you need to make sure it's room temperature, because if it isn't, then what happens is the heat of this cocoa butter, the minute you put it onto the chocolate, it will set immediately and you won't be able to paint. So make your little animal bite things or whatever it is you're making in chocolate and then leave them in the fridge for 20 minutes to set, bring them back out, leave them at room temperature for another 20 minutes, then start painting. So you've got to be a bit organised. I mean, you could even do all the make make all the animal bites the day before, and then sit and paint them the following day or something if you haven't eaten them by then. <laughs> Once they're out of the fridge, be like, oh, look at this. Right. Okay. And then we'll do a darker shade of brown up here, like so. Could you leave the sugar paste, or I guess modelling paste, in the mould to harden? If also, can you use royal icing in the mould? Definitely not royal icing, 100% not. Um, I think it would just become a mess. I, I wouldn't use royal icing in a mould. Um, you could leave them in the mould if you want to. It's still going to be, because products like sugar paste and that have got sugar in them, they're sticky, um, there is a chance that they might get stuck um, in there. With chocolate, when chocolate goes into a mould and it's um, running, when it sets, it contracts. And when it contracts, it means that you can then take it out of a mould. So it's very easy to get chocolate out of a mould. Whereas with sugar paste, nothing's going to change. Yes, it will get harder, but potentially it may get stuck. Um, you can try putting a bit of icing sugar in there. Um, that should be OK. You will have more success with modelling paste than you will have with sugar paste on moulds like this so there you go 
because when we use some of the like tea and biscuit molds you know like the one I used last week that was with modeling paste um, I had that mold next to me earlier today I don't know what I've done with it now there it is so molds that look like this one then we would use uh, Saracino and modeling paste there you go if you try to do sugar paste in there this is going to break there's no way you're going to get this out you'll find that when you tip it as you do this with the silicon it the sugar paste will stretch and then it will just be you'll never get it round to this bit here so for a mold like this you've definitely got to be using um, modeling paste okay and you could probably set chocolate in there as well that'd be okay and not sugar paste this is where things go wrong I've always said this about um, some places you know you get all excited by the lovely colors of sugar paste and oh look at all these wonderful molds and then oh, it's not working why is it not working oh and then you give up and that's because you've just got the wrong product in the wrong um, thing that you're trying to do it's just making it hard for yourself really okay right clean brush again I don't know why I've got that on that side. It seems a bit daft, doesn't it? Let's move that back over there. So this will be the last one we'll paint. For our animal afternoon tea. And then what we'll do, I'll show you the ones Kelly's done. And then I'm going to show you what you can do. You can put them onto some of my cookie, my new cookie jar cutter. I'll show you that as well and then we'll rescue the um the little pots from the fridge okay so we're just going to paint white round here his eyes are there i think they're there but they're his ears so his eyes are in the middle like so and then we will go to pink and we'll still see it okay, yeah, you've got quite a good view actually, I think. And then we'll go to the pink colour. And we'll do his ears there, look, there's one ear there. Another one there. Pink nose. Yeah, then his nose. I could have said I've done that, Kelly, already. <laughs> Whoop, there we go. So I've done a really bad paint job around this side. And I've done one, you can just swap it out. I might, have to, Peter, swap. Here's one <laughs> I might have to do that, Kelly. Yours is much better than mine. Okay, I just wanted to put a little bit of colour down there because it's just there we go. I can just see the chocolate, it's just annoying me. All right, now where's that other brush? Let's switch back to the zero brush because it's much easier. Okay, what are we doing now? We're going to paint his mouth. Because he's a cheeky monkey, he's got a big smile. There we go. And then the other side. So again, I'm not making any of this up. It's all there. It's all slightly raised so you can see exactly what's going on. And then we'll put one little eye there. And another little eye there. There we go. Cheeky monkey. There you go. So he's fun, isn't he? So they're nice and easy to do. They're really not difficult, but they're really quite effective. There you go. Look at that for a little selection. Don't they look a bit better than this? They just look so plain when they're like this. And the minute you add a bit of detail to them, where's the other one gone? And I'll show you the difference in what we've done. But I'm going to show you the others in a second so you can have a look at that. There you go so look at those difference in that so there you go by just doing a little bit of painting you've transformed those little chocolate bites into something much more interesting there you go move that across there like that um, and you've got little monkeys and all sorts of things so let me just run through what kelly did i'm not going to take any of the credit for this kelly because mm -hmm. you did it all not me okay so these are the alternatives what we'll do actually i'll tell you what i'm going to move that out of the way i'm going to put them on this green board rather than this horrible bit of kitchen roll. Let me just move that over there. Right, okay. Let's bring that in. They are cute, aren't they? See, everybody's near enough put the same thing. Look, so cute, so cute, so cute. <laughs> and that's just you, Kelly. 
Okay, let's have a little look. Let's put them out so we can see what you've done. Right, those are the ones I've just done. Let's get rid of that black mark because that will annoy me otherwise. Let's have a look at the variations. So we've also got in this one here, did you do that one? What's that one? The bear. Is that one we said? That's was the, the bear. bear. Yeah. That's the bear. And then is this the one you did a, a load of ones on? Yeah. Yes. That's what's that all of them? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. That's right. That one. Okay. So the they all on the same one. Yeah, that's right. So one. for this one here, Kelly's done three different designs. I'm going to hold this up so you can see it. Okay. So if you're thinking I can't see, I can't see, I'll hold it up in a second. That's the teddy bear. That's the bear. That's that one. It's got a bow tie. Pink hippo. There's another hippo. She's been very busy. Love heart eye hippo. Right. Purple monkey. Ow, I'll just touch the paint palette. <laughs> And a zebra, which is a hippo. We did this. Well, we yeah, you managed to turn the... That was quite good, that one, actually. You managed to turn the zebra... Uh, hippo into hippo a zebra. Into a zebra. <laughs> There's another monkey there. Look, we've got a whole zoo going on here, Kelly, look. And then we did another... Oh, there's another lion there, look. Right, I'm going to hold these up so you can have a little look because they are... Aren't they fabulous? And they're all done with the very basic colours in the cocoa butter painting kit. They are. You can use anything weird except from tangerine, but you could just mix red and primrose. They're very basic colours. I do want to make sure I get that bottom row, actually. Thanks, Kelly. everyone. Just to slip that in. Thank okay. You. So these bottom ones here, was this this these three were done with this one here. So that, Kelly, you did as a raccoon, didn't you? Mm. This one we've done as a, what's that, leopard? Yeah, or a yeah yeah that one we've done as a leopard and that one i keep saying we um kelly's done as a little tiger so look at the difference but what we're saying is you can get several different designs out of just this one here so kelly's transformed this one in several different ways and made them look um complete different they all love you kelly Lacey. i mean i can still think you can make it into a hamster <laughs> Yeah, into a cat. I'm going to might challenge her to that because potentially I think that could be a normal cat, couldn't it? This one, yeah. as well as jungle things. Thanks, everyone. So we we've had a little play with this, and again, the teddy one there. I think that's got possibilities for other things oh, as well. Yeah. I think you need to look at that one this week. Um, the lion, I think, is pretty much straightforward. We've got two slightly different colours going on here. Um, the hippo. Well, Kelly transformed one of them into a zebra. <laughs> We're not too sure about the zebra, but we, we didn't have a zebra. So we thought we'd try and convert one of these into a zebra. As we'd done, or Kelly done such a good job converting um, the one at the bottom. We thought we'd try and do this one. Anyway, it, didn't, it sort of worked. Not brilliantly, but it's all right. I think it looks better as a hippo, to be honest. She's put little hearts in the eyes of this hippo there. The royal we, that's it. Um, she, I taught her everything she knows. Uh, <laughs> Yeah. If I could show you her face right now, you'd laugh. Um, there's the little monkeys up there with various different colours as well. I think, oh, look, now look, there's a lady on at the moment called Doe. And apparently I... <laughs> I'm scared. Why? <laughs> well, because uh, I did a Facebook Live painting and then she's been addicted ever since. Brilliant. To the point that she says I shouldn't be sleeping at night because she can't, she's doing so much painting. <laughs> So yeah, um, yeah, we do have this mould on our website. I'm Kelly, just linking it Kelly's going to put a little link up for you so you can find it. So don't forget as well, these can be done in sugar and they can also be done um, in chocolate. But they're really cute and you get one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five. What's that? 30, isn't it? 30 in one hip. So that is a lot, isn't it? All in one go. 30 of those little animal faces. I think they're great. Okay, so... Let's put those down for a second. Now, along our jungle theme as well, um, on Thursday, I was busy painting um, a cookie. What did I call it, Kelly? Cookie travel cup or something. Yeah, cookie, well, like, yeah what's the coffee thing? cup. I coffee cups. I've got this thing about coffee cups at the moment. I basically have got this new cookie. What have I done with it? What did I do with the cutter? I was being, oh, there it is. Okay, we've got it. Yes, this is it. So on Thursday, I made up some cookies. I'm going to bring those in. Kelly made the cookies. Kelly made the cookies and I decorated them. So I did actually do something here with this. So we made these on Thursday. Oh, I'm just ruining my little display now. Hold on a minute. Let's move that there. Otherwise, I'm going to be in trouble with Kelly. So we made these. So what I'm going to do is we're going to have a go. 
at making some animal ones because we've got a new animal print one so if painting isn't your thing and you've been watching all of this and thinking well I don't really like painting I'm going to show you now how you can do it without doing any painting at all but we're also going to show you how to put one or two of these stuck onto here as well these are my fabulous stickers you know when you go in Costa and people write on cups this is where all this idea is coming from it's just me and <laughs> it's just me having a moment here but we painted these up on Thursday so if you want to go over again if you've missed it and you'd like to have a look at that if you go over to we did some nice flowery ones looks we're in flower mode at the moment there you go um we're in flower mode because we've got flowers coming out on painting, so that's why. Um, but I painted these on Thursday, so we're going to do some animal ones now. So let me get the ones that are over there. Hold on, let me just do a run across the room. Right, here we go. So this is my cookie cutter, it's a coffee cup. I had this idea that. Um, well basically it's one of those things where you see them online these lovely reusable coffee cups and I thought look how, de look how nicely decorated they are I think they look great so what I thought I would do is um, I've been doing cookies now for a while as my royal ices know is I'm just going to keep theming these up so I can't stop myself at the moment I'm just going to have to go through this I'm afraid <laughs> so we're going to have a go at doing some animal ones so we've got two here and what we'll do is we'll do one um, one with the new cutout and one that will do a painted version or we'll put um, one of the lines or things on here so you can have a look so um all you're going to need i've locked you in helly right Sorry. is some sugar paste let me find that so we can use we'll use a bit of green i think i need a bit more than that you don't need to use tons. Yeah. <laughs> this made me laugh. I tell you, this made me laugh. This I just could not help myself. Have a nice day. It's only going to a coffee shop and then someone makes you a nice cup of coffee or tea or whatever it is that you like to drink. And you've seen the writing on it. And I just started to get a bit obsessed with this. And I thought, do you know what? That is fun, actually. So then I came up with these sticker ideas and I thought, yeah, I'm going to put that on my coffee cups <laughs> they haven't all got them on it but some of them have and that's what I got into this week in a big way so I'm going to take some pale green I'm going to move that over there a little bit I'm just going to put those up there where's my rolling pin right okay let's get the rolling pin every time I pick a rolling pin up it's usually covered in some form of dust or colour or something does anyone else have that problem you know when you go to grab something it's covered in green blue blue seems to be the main color right let's move that around our delivery charges are done on weight so the more you put in your basket um for me for, for trace's cakes not sugar and crumbs sugar and crumbs is um whatever they charge i'm not too sure but for us it's done on weight unless it's a class and then obviously there's no charge because that's online so if you want to see these being done in the flowers, then they are on Sugar and Crumbs, um, this page, or you can go to YouTube and I've uploaded them to my YouTube channel, at Tracy Man Cakes, which I've uploaded this once I've done this as well. So there we go. That's very fabulous, isn't it? Now, um, let's pull my sleeves back. They're getting in the way. Uh, when you go to use something like this, um, you want to place that down, you want to press it down, and then you want to move it around. Can you hear that? Because if you don't, you'll get something called hairy edges. I know I talk about hairy edges. And because if you just push it down and cut it and lift it up, you'll end up with this funny line going all the way around. So it's really important with cookies um, or any cutters of any description that you always push them right down and kind of twist them around a little bit because um, it will help you get a better finish. Um, I've forgotten what I'm doing, Kelly, now. Doing that one and that one. Okay, so we'll do this. We're going to do two green ones. So we'll take hold of that and again just give it a little it's not sharp so it's not cutting this board thank goodness um it but it's sharp enough that it's going to cut through the sugar paste so that's the most important thing okay we won't damage the pink board 
Right, so let's put that there. Now, in order to stick that to that, I haven't cut this out very thick. I'm going to show you how thick I've cut that out because you don't want to end up with loads and loads of sugar paste on top of something like this, but a little bit is fine. Enough to do a little bit of decoration is fine. So let's move that like so, put that there. And then what I'm going to do is I've got here some, I've actually got some whipping it up. So I've made up some whipping it up with some, um, it doesn't look like whipping it up, but I can assure you it is. Um, <laughs> so I made some whipping it up um, into royal icing. So I took the bag whipping it up and I made up half a packet. So that would be, what do we say? 35 grams of water. It's half, yeah, so isn't it? 250 yes. icing sugar. So 250 grams of whipping it up with seven, uh, 35 grams of water, which made royal icing. Then what I did was I then took out a tablespoon of whipping it up and I then added loads of water to it. So I've made like a very sticky glue and that's what I'm gonna use to stick my cookies down with. The other thing you can use as well is piping gel. And I know that there was a little live on here last week on piping gel. So maybe if you bought some piping gel, you could use that as well doesn't matter the only thing with the royal icing is it will actually hold it because it will set piping gel never sets so I suppose potentially it could come off I don't know I'm not sure to be honest I think it's probably going to be enough for cookies there we go just make sure that's stuck down and we'll move that up there like that bring that one in and we'll do the same again so it's just a it's like a light sugar glue more than anything else Yeah, like so and then what we'll do is we'll take that and pop that up there like that so that's it oh missed that there we go all right now what we'll do plastic side scraper uh, what did I, I do? bring it over you did and i used it oh it went back to the sink didn't it for chocolate that's okay i'll use a knife instead not a problem i'll just be careful Okay, so what you can do then to mark the top of this is we're just going to rock a knife across there or plastic side scraper. I normally use my plastic side scraper, but it's gone to the sink. So I won't be able to do that right now. So we'll just do that like so. So we've got those two there. So now they look like coffee cups, so we're very happy with that. But what we're going to do is we're going to just jazz them up a little bit. So we're going to... Oh, did I blow that out? No, I didn't. That's good. So we can either put some of the jungle animals onto here um, or we can use one of these new sheets that I've got. So we have got, let's do the sheets first. So I have got one of these that I've printed off. These are all fabulous. So let's move that out of the way and I'll show you how this works. So this is just a sheet um, of jungle animals. It's on a sugar sheet, so it peels back. I'm going to take hold of my coffee cup cutter. Now what I've done is I've made it so that it finishes across there because I want that bit there to be the lid. So what I've done is I've done it exactly so that you can set it up. Gosh, I'm being really careful now. I set it up right. So I'm going to hold that like, well, I'm going to hold it when I get my pen in my hand. I've <laughs> So if you've got yourself one of these, like an edible pen, so this one is a black edible pen. Now it's got two ends to it, we'll do the thin end. So I'm going to put that on there. Let's hold that still. So we'll go for the elephant. Let's have the elephant on here. That would be nice, wouldn't it? And it's got a snake on it. I'm not keen on snakes. I've just spotted that. Yuck. Right. So now I'm just going to take my pen. I'm just going to draw around the outside edge of this, like so. Make sure I can see what I'm doing. There we go. Let's take that away. So there we go. Got a nice shape there. And then, oh no, scissors. Oh no, I've seen a pair. That's all right. And then they're tiny scissors, but they're scissors. And and then what we'll do is we'll just cut around this shape here. So this is edible. This is an edible sheet which means it's going to be absolutely fine to put on your cup. So this then is like a bit like a kid's cup, isn't it? This is what I'm saying. I was getting a bit obsessed with this this week. Um, so this now looks like a children's cup. So we've done flowery cups, now we've got kids' ones. Now you've got all of those left on that sheet. Now I reckoned, so let's go, hold on, one, 
yeah i reckon you can get near enough four eight on one sheet so that's pretty good going isn't it so eight out of that if you shifted that across there a little bit further you can get eight cups out of that sheet so that's pretty good going i think right and then just going to cut across the top there this one so these this one's all for for the people that don't particularly want to do any painting the only thing i would say with this is don't get water on your hands and unfortunately we are going to be using water in a second because if you get water on your finger and then touch it the paint will just come off immediately um it will not um it, it will just come off that'll be it um kelly can you just get me a pot? i knew it was, i knew you were going to say that i knew but not yeah just a little one thank you you the brush no i use this one it's fine and then what we'll do i don't need a lot because i can guarantee if there's a lot in there i'll spill it thank you and then what we'll do so water but again when you put water on here just make sure it's not drowning in water and i'm just going to go for the lower half of this like so so i'm going to leave that bit up the top and then all you do is did i peel that back off i don't actually remember doing it i can't remember i think i have yeah i have no i haven't i can't remember oh no i haven't there we go look at that right so that comes off like that so that peels back really easily we'll get rid of that and then what we'll do is we'll line this up with the like that take it down like so and look at that oh we've got an instant reusable i can't call it coffee cups you can wait it's a very exotic looking one um it is a coffee cup but there we go so it's a jungle themed coffee cup to go with our jungle theme afternoon tea um <laughs> and all of them are going to be different because you've got a different pattern going across you might get two elephants and you might get a, a tiger there and you might get a giraffe there and a hippo there but they're fun and they look really cool i think they look fantastic and it's just something i thought was a nice little idea so you could do that let me move that out of the way there we go let's put that there and then this one here if you wanted to do a bit of painting i will immediately bring this in because i don't want to get my cocoa butter in the way let's put that up there it is a jungle themed icing sheet isn't that fun i love it yeah and what i've done is i've been i've made it very specific size wise that it fits my cups the only thing i would say that you could also do with this is that you could take that sheet and you could wrap it around a cake so if you were doing the side of a cake um someone's gonna ask me how deep it is now i know this is coming hold on let me find out for you it's just over three inches so three and a bit inches which is a normal sort of size of a cake as well isn't it so um again you could join them together and it would go all the way around so each one of these how long is it? Ten and a half inches, so it's 21 inches going all the way around. But I didn't design it to go around a cake. I designed it for making coffee cups. So if anybody wanted to do then a little gift that you could put in a bag and send kids home with, it's quite fun, isn't it? Because it's completely edible. If you were doing a bit of a theme, because I did used to like a bit of a theme, didn't I, Kelly, when it comes to parties? <laughs> I'm not going to lie, I don't remember. Children's birthday parties. You were the queen. Oh, the queen of anything like that so if you wanted to use the um the little animal shapes as again if you wanted to use them on here you can always paint yourself a little grass scene going on down here and i need the greens so when you come to use greens for painting i would go for using a couple of shades let's have a look so we've got spring green which is the world's loveliest colour. Moss green, also very nice. But my favourite is woodland green. That one there. I love woodland green. You're looking at me, Kelly. Do you not like woodland green? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's put those there. If oh. I if okay, I find that if I put sugar paste onto cookies, it makes them go soggy. If I royal ice them, it doesn't. Could I put the transfer on top of royal icing? Um, probably the only thing you'd have to watch out for. So my royal ices, the only thing I would say with that is that that royal icing needs to be absolutely set before you then attach these. And I'll tell you why. It's because you've got to make this wet again and potentially you might disturb the icing. So as long as this is rock hard. So if you, for anyone who's doing royal icing, 
flood your cookie, leave it to dry, but I'd say leave it to dry for a good more than 24 hours and then you've got to then put water on it and then attach it. I just think the water may disturb the royal icing underneath. That's the only thing I would say. I don't honestly know the answer um, because uh, I don't. I've never done it, so I'm not sure. Um, I don't want to say I have and I haven't. So um, what I've done is I've brought my cocoa butter back in again. I'll just move it across in a second. Ooh, that way. There we go. Oh, I've got to be careful here. So spring green, moss green, woodland green. And we're just going to paint a little bit of grass on the bottom of one of these. And then we'll add a one of the characters. What else? What about using edible glue? Edible glue on the sugar paste. Yeah, yeah edible glue is fine. Or straight without the sugar paste, because they said that the sugar paste is making the cookies go soft. Can they put edible glue down, then the sheet? On the sheet? Or just straight? Yeah, on straight. So cookie edible glue that sheet i don't know i'm not well, sure isn't it all to do with wetness is well, the edible glue wet the only thing it, yeah the edible glue is wet the only thing is it's whether or not you'll see through it we'll try it in a minute and see we will find out is that a request from you kelly no no okay well or fine. alcohol would that evaporate I wouldn't do it with alcohol. I think you'll have a problem with alcohol. What are you doing? If you want to sell these, if you were sending them home with someone, you want to make sure that nothing is going to move. So royal icing is your answer, really. Closely followed by ed edible glue, followed by piping gel, I'd say. That's the order I would kind of use. I mean, so I do... What they're saying without the sugar paste. Yes, I know what you're saying. I know exactly what you're saying. But what I'm saying is that you've got to be careful because of the water. So we'll try it in a second anyway. But let's do this one first. So what we'll do is we'll just mix a little bit of woodland green here. We'll just do something quick. And then all we'll do at the bottom here is we'll just do a little bit of, am I on camera? Yes, I am. Okay. And we'll come up here and I'll make these grasses quite long. So I'm starting with woodland green and white at the moment. I must admit, I do tend to put um, all of my um, photographic sugar paste sheets onto sugar paste. I very rarely put anything straight onto anything. So even when I do like um, uh, a birthday cake and then I've got an image to go onto it I will usually mount it on sugar paste and then put it onto the cake one I think it looks better and two I know it's it's not going to get see-through or anything else and that's why I do it um, so that's the answer to that one for me um, but it may well work on cookies we'll have a look in a second okay so just do some kind of long grass with this woodland green then what we'll do is we'll change colour so we will um we'll clean our brush we'll just take a bit of the cocoa butter and just wipe that off and then we'll switch over to what have we got going on here moss green so let's pick up some moss green and we'll stick a bit of white in there There's not a lot of contrast there. Let's get a bit more contrast going. The spring green will be the main one that lifts it. Spring, or maybe we'll put a bit of extra. That's better. I can see it now. Okay, so we'll just put a little bit of that in there. We're going to take these grasses up quite high, like so. And then we will go and do spring green, which is a nice limey green colour. Probably not going to bother to, I didn't bother then to clean my brush particularly. So this colour should stand out. Oh yeah, there we go. So if you're going to paint grass, um, it's worth doing two or three different colours. So you get a nice contrast, but you can also shade the other colours up and down. We'll go back to woodland green in a minute, make it a bit darker. Okay, and we'll do woodland green. We'll go darker, and again, I haven't bothered to clean my brush. There we go. 
got some darker ones coming in now. What we'll do is we'll go a bit darker at the bottom here so it looks like a bit of shadow going on. Just go across the bottom like that. Okay, but what you want to do with this, if you are doing it, is just make sure those grasses come up quite high. Okay, and then once you've done that, um, we can do two things. We're going to pick a little character. Do you want to choose Kelly? Just uh, which one would you like in the grass? In the grass, you choose. Don't forget we've got grass on the other one, but you put pick. one of the hippos in the grass. Hippo? You want to put one of the hippos? No, well, hippos actually get living grass. Don't they? Do you want to put the hippo in the grass? Okay, eh? well... No, no, it's fine if that's what you want to do. One of the lions? You want to put the lion in the grass? You want to put the lion in the I grass. I don't mind, Kelly. Yes, <laughs> oh, she knows me too well. Okay, so what I've done is I've just put a little bit of royal icing on the back there, and then I'll turn that over, and then we can put the lion there. He can sit in the grass, can't he? I put too much royal icing on the back. Hold on, let's move that around a bit. There you go, that's better. So you can always do something like that as well. And then, <laughs> I'm just thinking actually, <laughs> we put one of these on, have a nice day. Have a nice day, don't get eaten by the lion. <laughs> so then we can always put one of our little have a nice day. Let's hope you make it home in one piece from the jungle. Coffee cup ones as well. So you can always put a little bit up there as well. These are just little sugar discs again as well. It's just a bit fun, like so. Okay. Like that. Then also what you can do is if you want to, you can add a contrast across here. So you can always take the green from the bottom and paint one of the bits up the top here green. That works quite well. It's always kind of good if you can follow your colours through because then you get... There we go. So if I've just taken the wood, um, I think actually, no, it's the moss green. I've got moss green going on here. So you can just take the moss green and just paint across here. There is so many possibilities with this. This is why I'm finding it quite difficult to put this down at the moment because I keep seeing all these different things you can do with it. And I think, you know, because they're like nice little party gifts, these. Now we'll just paint the tail behind them. Paint the tail? Come on then, Kelly. Oh, no, no. Oh, no, no, no. You still have, cut, uh, you still have um, little cakes to do, Ronnie. I do. I haven't forgotten about those. I'm going to get those out in a minute. Yeah, we've got cakes to do. Thank you, Kelly. Yeah, you could always paint a little tail behind him. Do you want to do that, Kelly? There you go. But you could do, you can paint all the lid, all the lid green, or you can leave it half, or all sorts of different things. So there's loads and loads of different options that you can do to make these as part of your little jungle set. So there's loads of things you can do with this, and I just thought we'd do these as well as these, just to kind of show you what what can be done. So let's move these back out of the way. A lot going on here let's get the floral ones out of the way so we don't get in a muddle let's bring them on I've messed all of the display up Kelly now right let's put that back round here so we've got everything in order where's the one you did the most of that's that one that's the little that's the one we turned in or you turned into about five different things didn't you yeah. there we go that one there and that one there right but now we've got a full display look at that Okay, right, let's get the cakes out. So let's bring these in. Now, what we're going to do here, um, did I bring the buttercream down, Kelly? Oh, yeah, yeah. it's next to me. I've got my own. Right, so we have got some buttercream here. We're going to dye it. Uh, is there another bowl in that cupboard? One that's similar size to this one. We're going to dye it green. Food 
No, I don't. I'll come and get it. So, okay. They're all singing The Lion Sleeps Tonight. You know that song, Kelly. Yeah, of course I do. <laughs> we can't sing it because we'll probably get chucked off for copyright or something. <laughs> okay, so we've got some... Let's move that up here a little bit. There we go. So that is buttercream. And then what we'll do, I'm going to just put... I don't need all of it, you see, so I'm just going to put some of it into here. And we're going to dye that green. And we're going to make some, how much do I need? Probably about that, maybe a bit more actually, purely because I'm going to be using one of the nifty nozzles and that will probably use up quite a bit. And then we'll put some of this one in. This one is Colour Splash Leaf, which is actually the one I use the most of. I love it. It's my <laughs> favourite one. Mm, says, am I tired? <laughs> I've been painting all day, I am quite tired. She's tired, she's been painting, working hard. I'm working her to the bone. That's yeah. what I'm doing, Kelly. Isn't it? Look at that lovely colour. Such a nice colour. Talking of colours, on Thursday, <laughs> what? Nice little segue. Nice little segue. On Thursday, so I'm doing this mad moment here. I'm, I'm planning to make a whole cake on Thursday. I'm planning to make an 80s cake. So I'm going to be using the neon colours on Thursday morning. So if you can't make it Thursday morning because you're back at work now, you'll be able to watch it um, on catch up so you won't miss anything. I'm going to make a full on 80s cake on Thursday. This is a present for somebody. So I'm going for it big time. And I'm on a little bit earlier. I'm on at 11 o'clock, apparently. <laughs> I didn't realise I looked at the timing, but apparently I'm on a little bit earlier on Thursday, 11, which actually, to be honest, suits me because I've got this cake to do and I think it might take me a little bit longer than an hour. So um, that's probably best. So I know I'm normally on at half 11 on Thursdays, but it's going to be a little bit earlier this week. OK, there we go. That's fine, that's what we can use. Let's pop that over there. And then I have got all lined up and ready. This nozzle here, I know Carol has lots of um, difficulties getting these amazing nozzles in, which, um, but I'm sure when they're here, they're well worth getting. So let us put some of this into our bag. Again, this is one of my favourite nozzles. I don't let this one out of my sight. I'm getting the icing everywhere, or buttercream everywhere, I should say. Right, let's put that down there for the moment. I can always use that for cupcake bouquets if I need it. I've got a few of those to do. There we go, got that coming out there. Right, I'm just clean my hands up because it's getting in a pickle. Uh, yeah, I'm going to do an 80s cake on Thursday. So, because it's a present for somebody, I, um, I've got to do it properly. I know I say that every time, <laughs> but I really have got to do it properly. There's lots of Duran Duran and Top of the Pops on it. I won't start talking about Top of the Pops because they'll be, you'll set me off, you see, if I start talking about Top of the Pops. Right, okay, so mini cakes have come out of the fridge and then all we're going to do is unwrap them. So let me just get rid of all this stuff in the background because otherwise I can see it and it's annoying me. There we go, that's better. Right, so all we're going to do is take hold of the transfer sheet and we're just going to very slowly unwrap it until we get to the point where it's overlapped and then if I pull it, it should snap into a straight line like that. And that is because... Um, the chocolate's very thin, so it just goes into a straight line. Okay, so let's do the rest. So that's that one. So what's happened is the transfer sheet's come off. I'm just watching. You're watching. See, what happens when it gets towards the end of the demo is Kelly concentrates so much. That she's... I do. I've, I've done with messing around now. <laughs> she's stopped watching um, 
the Facebook and she's now concentrating on this, you see, because it gets towards the end, she gets a bit excited. And sometimes she gets on her feet, don't you, Kelly? Mm. Um, so you can see that the transfer sheet has gone from being, hold on, let me lift one over. It's gone from being like this to like this because it's imprinted it onto the chocolate. So there we go. They're all 80s fans, aren't they? Don't set me off on the 80s because I'll be off, won't I, Kelly? Yeah, live will be... Hours there. Yeah, Thursday's live. I mean, you know, oh, Carol's not going to get a look in in the evening. I'll still be live talking about the 80s starting at 11 o'clock. <laughs> so I'll tell you all my fun facts about the 80s. Um, <laughs> tune in for the 80s special because I won't be able to stop myself. Right. All the things I know have about the 80s. There you go. There's another one there. It's nice. Now, the only one you've got to watch out with the pink flamingo one is it goes round. And don't forget it's going round. If you cut the transfer sheet the other way, your flamingos are going to be round the wrong way. So just keep an eye on that one because I nearly did it earlier today. And these little bits of chocolate there for Kelly. Hmm. Right. Leopard print. Let's do that one next. There we go. I'll just peel that off like so. Okay. Maybe I'll have to do the live in my 80s gear. Yes, you should wear your T-shirt. <laughs> Multiple T-shirts, Kelly. It's not one T-shirt. I have an entire come, drawer come full of it. Up. <laughs> I have to do an 80s. I have to wear my 80s gear, won't I? Okay. And there's another one there. I don't know what I've quite done to this one here. I I was... Okay, there we go. I've got another little one there. It's a bit all over the place, that one, but that's okay. Right. And then we'll do one more. So I'm peel that like that. Let's see, the minute I mention the word 80s. The transfer sheets are all different prices. It ultimately depends how many different colours um, that are on there. So they're all over the place. Some of them are not too bad. Some of them are a bit more expensive. So there we go. I'm not sure what I've done to the leopard print ones. I think I must have had a moment when I did those, but that's fine. There we go. Right, now... When this nozzle here, so what we're going to do is just pipe some grass. I think that was the I plan. You wanted, um, blue in that one. No, I'm just going to do them all, all grass. He said that just as I piped Sorry. it. I'm going to do them all grass, and I think this nozzle is quite a good grass one here. And then what we'll do, so we'll do the grass first. So squeeze, what is it? Relax, something or other. I don't know, you're the one who's... Well, I it. can't remember, but they all know. They'll all start putting it up in a minute. Squeeze, pull, relax, something like that. Well, you, some the feed, you are, eh? <laughs> the feed will go mad in a minute. <laughs> and they all go, yeah, we know what it is. Okay. They'll know. They'll know. This is the large version of this nozzle there. Let's move, let's swap these over. Let's bring that in. There we go. Swap those over. So that's our, we're doing them all the same because we're in a jungle. That's why I decided. You could do some water-based ones though if you wanted to. So you could do some blue ones. That's what Kelly was going on about. We sort of have this, oh, I'm not sure I've done enough buttercream now. I think I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to have to make this work. Squeeze, stop, pull, breathe. Squeeze, pull, breathe. Squeeze, stop, stop breathe. Pull, breathe. Pull, relax. Oh, you see, they told you relax. they'd all be off now. <laughs> Everyone's off. That's because they're in this buttercream class, Carol's um, flower class, you see, or the nifty nozzle class or something like that. And they all do them. There we go. Oh, air bubble. I knew there was going to be one, but I'm trying to make sure. Do you know what? I think I've got this absolutely down to the wire. I can't believe it. Literally. I don't think I could have done this any better if I tried. Look at that. I've got literally like one squeeze of buttercream left. Wow. <laughs> the whole just says like squeeze up, relax. There you go. I told you they'd know. Squeeze up, relax, is it? Squeeze up and relax. Squeeze, relax, release. There's all sorts of variations going on. Right, there we go. Okay, so um, we're going to put our little characters in now. So we decided... Now, don't forget, it's got a seam at the back, so you need to make sure that's put at the back. So we're going to put the little 
a little line in there. Kelly, are you happy with this? Yeah. I'm looking for your approval here. A tiger. Oh, oh it's a tiger. Ten seconds behind. Yeah. <laughs> and then we'll put the lion in there. And oh, we better put the leopard in the leopard print one, haven't we? We'll put him in that one because that's a better one than this one. This one's gone mad. Um, what else should we put in that one? A hippo in the flamingo one. Yeah, I'm that's a raccoon. Yeah, I know, but it's got to go in. The, I've done the leopard print ones. Oh. Oh, I suppose we could put the lion. We'll put the lion in there because we could put the monkey in that one. Yeah. Wouldn't we? The purple monkey. Okay, you well, want the brown one? You want? It's fine. Okay, we'll put the brown, I painted that one so it doesn't matter. Brown one in there. We'll turn these round so you can see it in a minute. And what was the other one? The hippos. Hippos. So we put a blue hippo in that one. And then which one do you want? I don't know. Which one do you prefer? Well, should we go for the one with the crazy eyes? They've got love hearts. Love hearts. There we go. Right, I'm going to pick these up so you can see them. Don't drop them. I won't drop them. <laughs> okay, right. Where are we on camera? There we go. How about that? They look fun, don't they? <laughs> Aren't they pretty? So little animals in the jungle in little mini pots there. So we've had a whole evening of... What have we had an evening of, Kelly? Animals. Animal theme. That's what we've gone for tonight. So a complete animal theme. So we've painted up all these little animals and we've popped them in grass and put them in these little chocolate cakes. They're fun, aren't they? I think they look really lovely and I would love to take all the glory for them, but I can't because yeah. Kelly Kelly has done her fair share of this today. She's painted loads and loads of these little animals. They look really cool actually together. Imagine a little jungle of these going on. You could also do the, uh, you could do water for the hippo. So the hippo doesn't have to be in grass. It could also be in some water. So you could always use um, like, a, oh, what's that nozzle number? Oh big round thing 12 maybe you could use that and pipe some bubbles or something and then you could do that that would be quite a good idea um or you could use some of that piping gel stuff and that would give you a nice watery effect for the hippo as well paint the hippo a different color he could be painted gray um and just remember as well kelly had done the what was it the one that we thought was a raccoon she painted up as a tiger she painted it up as Put it down a, a leopard oh pull it down a little bit there we go team man <laughs> just about got her with me still so there you go all right so they look fun don't they they look good fun so you've got that with your kids party and then you can send them home with their little cookies as well so they've got all sorts of different things that they can take home so it's a complete animal theme tonight we've gone for it big time so you can see it all there but what i'll do is once we've done we'll take a photograph of all this and we'll put it all up on the sugar and crumbs cake community page so that you can see it all but it's something different because we're moving away now from um, thanks everyone <laughs> they're just complimenting they're complimenting you kelly are they um we're moving away now from valentine's day mother's day all those things now and i thought yeah well it's it's now kids party season let's hope and that um i've got two lovely little nephews that i'm sure would love these um wouldn't they i mean i'd like them and you'd like them but yeah i mean you know you like anything like that kelly don't you you love things like that so we'll take a nice picture of this shortly and the little cups as well and we will get them put up onto the instagram page and the sugar and crumbs page and all sorts of pages so that you can see them and if you want to watch it again we will put them up onto the youtube channel and also again you'll be able to watch it back on um, this particular page as well so there's loads of opportunity if you've missed it or you've just joined us then you can catch up on there right i'm on my feet <laughs> i'm on my feet now <laughs> let me just hold please don't drop them i won't drop them i'm gonna hold them up though so you can have a look so i always hold everything up at the end don't i there we go aren't they fun they look good don't they i'm quite pleased with those there we go all right and then my little cookie cups it just gives you a bit of an idea of perspective sometimes when you see someone holding them and then you can see kind of how big or small things are so there you go all right Okay, so I will be back at half past 11 on Thursday and I'm going to be, no I'm not, I'm back earlier, 11 o'clock apparently, it's changed the time, so I'm going to be on at 11 o'clock. Um, if you can't join me, as I say, you can always watch it on catch up, don't forget to like and share, gosh I've got to say that at the start, did you write that down? 
I have been saying to you. Oh, good. That's all right then. So I forget. Otherwise, yeah, don't forget to like and share. Um, so I'll be back on Thursday at 11 o'clock and I will be doing an 80s themed event. So I will be doing an 80s cake. So let's see how that goes. Um, using the neon colours. So very, very bright cake. All bring your dark sunglasses and get that radio station on. Get some 80s going and we will have a nice 80s cake um, at the end of it. All being well. So thank you very much for joining me this evening. Thank you, Kelly. Thank you very much. She kind of rescued me because I was thinking, what do I do when I do? Oh, and also you won't recognise me because I will have had a full makeover by then. When my hair is going to go back to normal. It's got very long. I've got it all tied up at the minute. It was driving me crazy. I did go swimming this morning. It nearly killed me. Um, <laughs> I have to say, I've been used to doing a lot of lengths, uh, 40 lengths, three times a week. I managed 24 and crawled out of the pool. Um, so maybe it's my hair that's holding me back. I don't know. It's one of those things. <laughs> She, Kelly's looking at me going that's totally unbelievable um, and I've got my new earrings so I'm looking very flash you see um, but thank you all so much for joining us um, I hope you've enjoyed your evening and we will see you on Thursday morning earlier time 11 o'clock all right take care see you soon bye, bye. bye.